Hi Capricorn, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All I keep hearing is a Johnny Taylor disco lady. Like, oh my gosh, is somebody out here shaking it up? Move it in, move it out. Disco lady. All right. Somebody wants you, but they have somebody. Because he goes in that song, he says, um, if it wasn't for the woman sitting right next to me. You know, so I don't know. Y'all put that on when you're cleaning up your house or something like that. Listen to that song. You, you'll be cracking up if you are if you already don't know it. But um, let's get into it. So the cards that I pull initially for you to kind of govern your reading is leaving. So this card literally talks about leaving toxicity. And um, yeah, like, uh, okay, so leaving a toxic okay our work environment okay and some of you this could even be a uh, toxic relationship so toxic just means unhealthy so you can just transpose the words like you leaving an unhealthy relationship an unhealthy work environment something that's just not good for you if somebody says it's toxic it's not good for us right um so you're leaving this behind you know that you need to leave it you could be leaving so you're in the act of leaving some of you haven't left Mm. retirement um it could even talk about like literally retiring out of the workforce or, or going from full-time work to part-time work it also could talk about going from one job to the next it could talk about going from one career to the next also so you're retiring something it also could even piggyback off of leaving some toxic relationship okay um you're retiring it you're letting it go Maybe even go into something else. If it wasn't for the woman sitting right next to me, somebody wants to leave s someone that they're with and come to you or vice versa. This is what you're trying to do. Hmm. Interesting. But what could be holding someone up is finances. I got prompted to do your reading too. It was like Capricorn, you know, so um, finances. Is holding somebody up or holding it back or we'll clarify also what finance because finances could also be good you know finance could be bad um it's like somebody wants to be somewhere else but they can't let this go because of finances somebody wants to leave toxicity especially if you're dealing with another earth sign that's what i heard um all right let's clarify let's see what are what are finances for the capricorn Shake it up, shake it up, move it in, round and round, disco lady. All right, let's see. Finances. What's finances? Okay, five of swords. Yeah, it's like a fight for the finances. And maybe that's what's holding somebody back. It's like if I leave, I know this person is going to fight me tooth and nail. I'm not going to get what I want. Somebody could be holding up your finances. Also, someone's in the midst of every time you try to get something or get somewhere, they uh, interfere, interject with your finances. Somebody's playing dirty. It could be an Aquarius. And that is the five of swords, Aquarian energy. Or you could be, you know, have Aquarius or you could be Capricorn, Aquarius, Cusp or something like that. Um somebody's really trying to stop halt play with your finances or you feel like you can't get ahead or you feel like there's always a reversal like if you do get ahead something reverses or someone keeps you stuck give me one more card for finance i got two seven of swords and the world somebody is energetically doing something and you know it somebody is really um holding something back or holding it up the seven of swords the five of swords is playing games manipulation the seven of swords is being deceptive so they're actively doing that you know maybe someone knows that you're leaving so they're hiding money or moving money or causing problems or causing issues or making things go awry in a business matter or business someone knows that somebody wants to finish out a cycle could be you capricorn could be another person could be dealing with a fixed sign aquarius coming up again when you deal with a, a certain person, your your finances kind of go down or they dwindle or it kind of slows down also. Keep that in mind when you 
let a certain person back into your life how your finances go like you know is it is it steady or does it just you know slow down you could be dealing with a leo scorpio aquarius taurus i said especially if you're dealing with another earth sign i don't know it's like um something about finance somebody is sneaking sneaking around or sneaking money around or sneaking this or they're trying to get away with something or someone feels like yeah okay so we got the five of swords and then we got the the guy who's sneaking away the seven of swords has five swords so it's, somebody is trying to really if this is divorce somebody's playing dirty somebody's like well i'm gonna leave with all of this and i'll just leave them with those two of swords it's it, it is um it is it's treacherous you know it or somebody knows this or they know what they're doing someone's calculated what is the retirement what is retirement what is retirement the six of swords i'm sorry six of wands so some of you are going to actually retire again like we talked about or are you going to go to something else it looks like you might be going to something else uh, it looks like you're going to have promotion celebration you're going to be happy about this move yeah nine of pentacles some of you could even be coming out of you know working for someone else and and now you're working for yourself or you will be or you're starting a business you're going to get some help in a business matter very nice um some of you just going to be very abundant um you're going to make a transition okay you're waiting for um the opportunity you're waiting for a call waiting for you're waiting for a call or communication so that you can move on i heard a plan a retirement plan or something like that let's see leaving what is leaving what is leaving what is okay um eight of swords you feel stuck though or someone feels stuck someone you're dealing with could be dealing with a gemini um somebody feels like okay i want to leave this toxic you know uh relationship or this toxic cycle behind but i feel stuck i feel like you know i'm just giving up here or i feel like i always get burned in this connection or dealing with this certain person um let's see what else do we have somebody could be clinging to you also they have a temperance card it's like you're trying to take the middle ground and not be too emotional about it or too logical about this leaving something about negative or negative thoughts or negativity somebody could be waiting for a rescue or someone wants you to rescue them or that's why it's negative or it's a negative cycle or it's drama it says that if it's negative with the temperance card however it is it's going to stay that way if it's good it's good if it's bad it's bad it's going to stay bad maybe that's why some of you are choosing to leave you you want to go somewhere where it's more peaceful six of cups maybe um visit your hometown or go back home for some of you you went back home or you want to go back home some of somebody plays on your good nature and that's why they're expecting you to never leave because you're like in the act of leaving you haven't really left yeah the hangman is like you're waiting for something to change the queen of wands you're waiting to get what you want in some dynamic it might not be happening i don't know we'll see let's leave you with some future energy what is the future energy for capricorn the future energy for capricorn you really gonna have to let go of this past person i think you're hanging on to this you know sentimental value um the hangman says really releasing the ex or the, the past person um stop waiting it also talks about waiting in vain official person so in the near future it could be an official person coming to you somebody with stripes honor the thoughts you'll be in someone's thoughts a man thinking about a woman especially if she put distance between the two of them if she actually left somebody feels like if they think about you intensely you'll come back wow and then the expectation card um you could be expecting them to reach out to you or them to reach out or them to reach out to you or you reach out to them you both are expecting communication to close out the cycle yeah 
expecting somebody to communicate and then you guys can you know start this back up again some of you are going to move some of you are expecting that call when we had retirement so you can move on okay um it looks like when you do get that call because it's going to be a yes answer you're going to move real quickly into great fortune so you're going to be in a very fortunate position bad health so somebody sees you as a meal ticket they ain't, they ain't got nothing or they don't have much or they see you as you know the cash cow or the the golden goose or whatever you want to call it um it could have just been a sex only relationship where they were trying to make it that but now maybe they've fallen in love but they also you don't know, have dollar signs in their eyes something about rescue calvary they want you to rescue them or do a lot for them it says that the you know a new path is opening up for you you've been dealing with this for maybe one to two years or more maybe no longer than three years you need to let it go you need to retire it you need to leave not leaving but you need to leave this toxic situation behind it's not giving you anything it's it's depleting you it's taking from you and it's not restoring you're not getting anything back so eventually, if you keep giving anything, right, if you keep going to go give blood at the Red Cross each and every day, eventually, if you don't give yourself time to make more blood cells and make more blood, right, you'll be depleted. You'll run out of blood. And that's the same with you just keep giving love and you just keep giving care and money and you just keep throwing it down this empty, dark hole that you call your spouse or your better half or your person, and it's not giving anything in return. Eventually, you're going to be depleted. And you're going to be giving from a place of depletion. And um, that doesn't look good, nor does it feel good. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Don't forget to go listen to Johnny Taylor. Uh, Disco Lady, I believe. Um, <laughs> you don't have to, but anyway. Uh, if you do, let me know if you didn't listen to the song uh, down in the comment section. All right. Um get your own personal reading by going over to the website firstly go to the community tab here on youtube get a discount code head over to the website and book your reading and then also you can uh catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time um come for the collective reading ask questions you can ask a question right now you can text your question to the number below okay um, and get your question answered that way Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.